Listen. Oh my god. Oh, I could do this all day. Welcome to Let's Talk About That, the show about the show. I'm Stevie, and I only wear my underwear on the outside on Tuesdays. This week's guests cut the mustard just as much as they cut the cheese. Please welcome Rhett and Link. High step oh. in the day. A little workout. Get a little workout before Thanksgiving. Uh, Let's see what you're doing. Uh -huh. What does yes. it mean? Oh, I'm to so glad you asked that cut, question that you haven't asked yet. Cut the mustard. That's yeah. that's like dancing up, up to snuff. Okay. Yes, it means to succeed, and I looked it up. Oh, really? Yeah. You were actually prepared for my yes, question. Yes, because it has a disputed origin. Um, but my favorite origin is that uh, because it means to succeed, mustard is the best part of a sandwich. Can you move over a little bit? I'm trying to get comfortable here. Sorry, I'm listening. Did you hear, did you? What did I say? I was like, what am, what am I gonna do that's funny? <laughs> I'm gonna lean over. Yeah. You're just reciting what went on in your own head. Yeah. Yeah. I know what cut the that, mustard that, means. I don't need to constantly listen. Constantly going on in his yeah. head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what can I do that's funny? You well, just you should have admitted it. Yeah. Though. yeah. yeah anyway, I know I'm making fun of myself. Mustard is not the best part of a sandwich because cheese is the best part of a sandwich, and that's why you cut the cheese. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Oh, my yeah. Mustard. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You missed that definition because you're you being cut, funny. Really, it's can you cut the mustard at cutting the cheese? That means you're a good farter. Exactly. But also, my other part of the intro, the I only wear my underwear on the outside on Tuesdays. So I, true. I'm having to Google fan submitted intros because I don't want right. to miss something that's like, like a, you know, a thing, a meme or something. Yeah. So I Googled that. It's not a meme. It just was a, an interesting suggestion. But when I did that, there was a Quora article that popped up called, Is it illegal to only wear underwear outside? And then the number one upvoted man um, was from Florida, which I feel like, Good. you know. Um, and then he, he explains His that. His name is Rick Orlando. Yeah. That's a fake name. And um, <laughs> underwear is subjective, so the definition of underwear. I mean, he, he this is like only part of his message. Anyway, it did remind me of an underwear issue that Link had that we talked about, and I couldn't remember if we talked about it on camera or off camera. Do you uh, know what I'm talking about? Underwear issue? Yeah, he had an underwear issue a few years ago. That can mean a ago. lot of things. You know what I'm talking about. No, I don't. Okay. You're going to have Link to cut the mustard. Was of a certain underwear habit that we had to break him of when we found out about it because it was oh. not oh, yeah. healthy for you. <laughs> Wearing it more than once? Yeah. he <sighs> And I can't remember if it was on camera, but... No, this was in a meeting. <laughs> Somehow we were like in... <laughs> we, were, we were in like um, a big GMM planning meeting and I just... Talking about your underwear. Casually talked about how I would just re-wear my underwear for he would, like, two or three his days. Underwear off, get in the shower, and then put the same underwear on. Maybe for, we like, talked three about three or it. four days, and then you don't remember that. And we found out about it. We were like, that is not okay. I remember it. Do you know why I remember it? Because every time <laughs> I take off my underwear now, I still think about it. Like I have to be. I can still wear this. It's good. It's good. <laughs> yeah, it's good. I, can... I have to convince myself. Because, hey, I don't like to create waste. I don't like to create work. I don't like to create laundry. When I throw anything in the dirty clothes hamper. It's far gone. It's a, um, it's a, it's a point of anxiety for me. Because I know it's going to come back to me when I do the laundry. Yeah, it's going to come back to you clean. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? After I clean it. You don't clean it. <laughs> I do laundry. Um, well, I'm glad that you're, you're not doing laundry? that anymore. I don't know if I've ever talked about my toilet on this yeah. show, but like, I am so, I'm, I'm cleaner down there than anywhere else. That is just not true. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm not saying- Have from, you been taking from, measurements? From experience, I'm just Ooh, saying- Why would you need well, to take a measurement? Readings, I should say readings. <laughs> It doesn't matter how clean you keep it, 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 it harbors things. <clears throat> it is a harbor. That's what I call mine, the harbor. <laughs> That's okay. my, my nickname for my privates is the harbor. And then you give safe harbor to. <laughs> Guys. Pulling into the harbor. It's a great segue for what we have this week on the show. It's not. But I do have a couple things that are happening this week on the show. The first is that this week we put various things inside of a turkey. Yep. Um, but one thing we did not put inside of a turkey is a Starbucks pumpkin latte. Oh. 
Um, so Josh had a great idea to do that. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to taste mm. the turkey. Interesting. Um, With a... Which sounds like a great phrase now that I've said taste the turkey sounds... You're hungry. Yeah, yeah. That's what you're it saying. Sounds like a yeah. slo- it sounds like a slogan for a turkey. Yeah, taste the turkey. Taste the turkey. And then also, because Thanksgiving is next week, I asked the Mythical crew to send me what they were thankful for. Oh, so how that sweet. So we Aww. could like, all prepare for that moment when you have to go around the table yeah. and get some ideas. So um, so I have those. Okay. That's good. Yeah, um, my mom always asks about that. So I, I need that. I'll tell you why later. Exactly. Um, but first, how about a beverage? How about it? We got to start drinking beverages because... We're gonna start eating later. <laughs> yes. I just mean, it, for Thanksgiving for me is not just a one-time event. It's not a meal. It's a, it's a week. Hmm. How so? I just eat with so many different relatives. Runa. Oh, what, what is this? It's an unsweetened blood orange drink. It says clean energy drink. Mm-hmm. It's from the Gay USA Leaf. Yep. I see that. Dink it. Oh. Fine. I'm sorry. Damn, you both. I, I, I was really excited about it. And I had, I had more it. coming after that sentence. I wasn't just going to say, damn you both. <laughs> but it's fine. Oh, weird. That tastes like a tea. Clean energy from a leaf, not a lab. It is a tea. I don't, I don't like, mind it. I don't like it. Okay. Don't recommend it. Not a sponsor, so I can say that. We are not thankful for this drink. I don't hate it, though. But we do have to, everyone has to have something to be thankful for. There is that moment um, you don't, you know, your your grandma or some other alive relative is there, <laughs> and you feel like Thanks you, need for reminding to be, me. <laughs> you need to be <laughs> thankful, um, but also like a little funny, but kind of thankful. It's like a, you know, you you have to really think about what you want to say. You got to strike moment. the balance, is exactly. what I call that. Yeah. Um, so I have a whole, whole long list of uh, things a mythical crew is thankful for. It runs the gamut, both ends. Okay. Actually, but what they're thankful for and some funny stuff. I have permission to use some of these when I go home. I did not explicitly ask them when they were submitting, but I think yeah, so. Your grandma doesn't watch this. Fine. Watch Is the it show. okay to say you're grateful and then cite the source? Well, usually you say you're thankful. Nope. I think you can mix it up and say I'm grateful for it because it sounds a little more yeah. poetic. Okay. Yeah. When everybody they goes around the and they're, they're all saying yeah. thankful, then you say grateful like, oh. Oh, mm. mixing it Mr. up. Mr. Thesaurus. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Is there another word for thesaurus? Because I'd like to know what that is. That is a good question. Because I cannot say that word. Um, well, you, you just wasted, you squandered a tweet here on LSAT. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a great tweet. Instead, it was just uh, like a, a humming and hawing. Humming and hawing. Um, Link, did you have something that you wanted to share about your Thanksgiving table before I'm, we continued with these thankfuls? For the first time since moving here, I'm going home to see my family for Thanksgiving. Are you thankful for that? Are grateful. Really? So, like, that's well, how many years is that? Ten, eight, ten, eight, ten, eight years. Yeah. How many years have we lived here? Seven. Eight. This will be your eighth Thanksgiving. So for eight years, you have not gone back to North Carolina. Well, you go during the holidays. Right. You go like right. later. We go for okay. like Christmas time and stuff like that. So we're switching it up this year. We're coming home for Thanksgiving. The thought was the the time would be higher quality because we wouldn't be distracted by things like presents and. Who hosts Thanksgiving? Like, whose house are you going to? Steve Harvey. We're going. <laughs> we're going to Nana's house. We're going to Nana's house. Quite a, it's quite all a set host. up for a name drop. <laughs> <laughs> Steve oh, Harvey's going, hosting Thanksgiving this year. <laughs> going, going to the in-laws. Going to. I mean, we going everywhere. Nana's house. Wow. Uh, That'd be fun. Bobby's house. Mm. Um, <laughs> JB's That's house. Great. Going to. Uh, well, the. We got to firm up the plans a little bit. Yeah, it sounds mm-hmm. like it. So I probably need at least four things to be thankful for, so I don't repeat. Got no, it. I think if your immediate family hears the same thing over and over again, they don't count. It's 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 exposure to the uh, the other family members. I never know what the kids are gonna say. Oh, you think they're gonna take your your thankful and what? It, why am I? It, that's I think not what you grateful. call it. You're great. <laughs> yeah, but it's not like a noun. You're, you're a thankful object. They're gonna take your thankful away uh. from you. <laughs> okay. Let's just, let's just, this is what the Mythical Crew is thankful for. Got it's not it. everyone. We don't have that much time. Uh, you know, I just, I picked some highlights. Um, so we had some uh, people who went more traditional. They went on like a list track. Um, so uh, I'm thankful for alarm clocks, mints. Oh, I thought this was a video. <laughs> no. Oh. I thought we were going to watch a montage. Sorry to <laughs> this burst is a your video. bubble. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. this is a conversational bit. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> 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 okay. 
Um, I'm thankful for alarm clocks, mints, and gum. Any guesses? Chase. Um, no, it's Jen. Jen, that's what Jen's thankful oh, for. Okay. Yep. Calendars, Excel, and vodka. That's Jacob. That's a really good one. That's a really oh, good one for wow. Jacob. Calendars, Excel, and vodka. I'm thankful for. It explains why he's so good at his job. <laughs> <laughs> um, then we got then we got some that were like a little bit more mythical specific. So like working here at the studio, I'm thankful for all, for all of the leftover black licorice after the clash of the crappy candy shoot and dental insurance. Okay, don't tell us. Mm. You know who here likes licorice besides you, right? Well, there's because they're coming. They came up to you afterward, and they're like trying to. Talk to you about the licorice. No, there's, there's a few people. <laughs> I walked away. There's a few people. I mean, Ben is one of those. No. Nope. I don't remember who. <laughs> I don't remember who. Feldman. Else. I was from Feldman. Feldman. Yes. I'm sorry, Feldman. I'm thankful that there's the secluded studio bathroom to poop in. That was me. Well, that's me. <laughs> or me, because we're the only ones that are supposed to be using that bathroom. Oh, it was Micah. Who, who all poops in that bathroom? Lots of hands. Oh gosh! Wow. Oh, dang. Everybody. I feel. Like, can we get, I, I can we get one installed in our office? Are you asking me? <laughs> yes. Who all poops in that bathroom and uses the squatty potty? I'm too tall for the squatty potty. Uh, so people got like embarrassed about saying they use the squatty potty, but they're cheering about using the bathroom. They don't understand. Who, who all uses the brush beside the toilet in order to like remove any evidence that you were there? Boom. Exactly. So start. <laughs> Use the freaking brush. You mean streaks? Y yes. Yeah. Okay. This, I don't make streaks, man. This this one's easy. Then why to do you guess. change your underwear every day? Because the harbor needs to be refreshed. <laughs> I'm thankful I have not had a sword injury in two months. Chase. Yeah, that's Chase. Chase still recovering from his two months. From his. Yeah, we had to. That was March. We had to change that. Yeah, was sword. it? No, no. There's two. There, there was the one like halftime show in March, and then there was um, Jack uh, Septic guy. Yeah. Stabbed him. Stabbed him. Little, little too, too rough. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then okay, there's this is um, what I'm calling the interesting threesome. Uh, these three. I'm thankful for Movie Pass for starting the all you can watch trend. I'm also thankful that Movie Pass is going out of business because I have AMC A list now. <laughs> is this a plug? No. <laughs> is this a, is, is no. someone being sponsored? I don't believe so. That was yeah. David. David, are you being sponsored? Not a sponsor. Not a okay. sponsor. All right. Mm -hmm. David watches a lot of movies. Here's this one. Mostly David. His smile, his scent, his touch. That's that would Alex. Be, that's Alex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then there's this one. David, can you just walk across? What do you mean? So we can get his scent. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. There he is. There's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Very good timing on that, Alex. <laughs> um, and then there's this one. I'm thankful for Alex Punch. Having him as an employee at Mythical makes everyone around him seem funnier and much better at their jobs by comparison. Thanks, Alex. Oh, that would be Kevin. Ooh, that's yep, Kevin. that's Kevin. <laughs> that's, a, that's a backhanded compliment. Definitely. <laughs> Kevin and Alex are not nice to each other. <laughs> I like the way those all three led into each other. Yeah. I understand what you mean by threesome now. Yeah. Well, and. and yeah. And then um, these were just interesting <laughs> in general. I really like these. Um, I'm thankful for, for a healthy baby daughter whose poop only gets in her vagina and less than 10% of her diapers and, and baby wipes. And that, of course, is from Darren. Oh, gosh, Darren. Darren. <laughs> <laughs> and Dar Darren's not here right now because it, he's tending no. to his baby. Yeah, and I was like, and it's going to get know. really awkward when I read what you're thankful for and you're not here. And that's what just happened. It would have been more awkward if he was here. <laughs> <laughs> Wipe front to back, man. Yeah, well, no, well, sometimes you can't help it. Sometimes it just about. happens. I don't think he's talking about what he's done. Yeah, it's not his you know? fault. Oh. Yeah. It's just the way it happens sometimes in mm. the harbor. I'm <laughs> this depends on which way the wind's blowing. <laughs> I'm thankful for the time traveling stranger I met in front of the CVS. I let him watch me sleep in exchange for next year's winning Powerball numbers. A good deal, if you ask me. So, this is a writer, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Watch me sleep. This is Ellie. No. Carney? Oh, man. Yeah, it's Carney. I thought uh, I was going to get it. 
And that's what the Mythical Crew is thankful for. Which will you be using at your various dinner oh, tables? Not quite what I hoped for. I'll be, doing the, I'll be doing the one about the baby and the poop. Everybody be like, what? You have a daughter? <laughs> <You're> like, yep. <clears throat> Sorry, I had water in my mouth. <laughs> um, okay, so we've, we've done the being thankful bit. We're over it. We've yep. been grateful. It's oh, time yeah. for turkey. Yep. Um, so this, this link is a video that I'm about to toss to you. Okay, good. Um, in which Josh makes a Starbucks pump. It, cum, pump, pump. <laughs> yep, let's roll well, it. It says Josh. That's not even a name. You buy a freaking wagon full of lattes at Starbucks, and they still won't get your name right. Jash. So the first step to making a pumpkin spice latte turkey is nothing, because a pumpkin spice latte turkey isn't anything that exists. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw the turkey into a giant star bucket. Great. If you want like a really good roast turkey on Thanksgiving, you make a brine, and that's gonna let all the salt and flavor like soak into your turkey and keep it moist. So, instead of brine, we're using pumpkin spice lattes. Oh god, they really are so good though. The best part about ordering 25 pumpkin spice lattes from Starbucks is how um, everyone hates you in the store when you do it. You know, I'm holding out hope for this to actually be good though. We just have to wait for 24 hours for all this to like really seep in, and then we're gonna take it out and figure out how to shove more latte in there. So, we have our turkey, been sitting for 24 hours, and now we just gotta, oh, this feels weird. Listen. Oh my god. Oh, I could do this all day. Great, so that's just gonna go right here. So you can see it started to change color. That's good, that means that all that pumpkin spice deliciousness is going in there. Now, we really wanna maximize flavor, so we're gonna take this guy. You'll actually feel the flesh swelling up with this delicious caffeinated goodness. And boom, you're pretty much Rachel Ray at that point. Even though this is injected with like uh, roughly 1200 calories worth of sugar water, we still need to put some flavor on the outside. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a bunch of just straight up pumpkin spice and just kind of dump that. No need to measure. We're gonna add some sugar to it and then we're gonna add some salt. And you're just gonna give this a nice toss. Just spill most of it on your table though. That's really the key. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. So now we're gonna rub down this whole turkey. Make sure to get all the nooks and crannies. Flip your cinnamon toast turkey right around and then just get all of its hind flaps. There are two parts of the turkey really. People wanna break it down to like leg, drumstick, thigh. No, you got front flaps and you got hind flaps. Yeah, I forgot to take out the bag. Throw the bag away. Now your turkey's rubbed. All right, so we're taking a little inspiration from a summertime dish, beer can chicken, whereby you shove a beer can into the chicken's bee hole, except we're gonna use a porcelain Starbucks mug. And we're gonna take a pumpkin spice latte and just fill it right up to the top. There we go. So the legs are acting like kickstands. Uh, you want the wings, conventional logic would say that you want them tucked so they don't burn, but I prefer to have them out so the turkey's like, what bro, come fight me? So now we're gonna take this and we're gonna throw it in a 350 degree oven um, overnight <clears throat> for like 15 hours. Breathed <laughs> in so much cinnamon. <laughs> just forget that it's there. <laughs> It'll burn, and then you can throw it out. Oh, Josh! Josh! What, what did you do, <laughs> dude? Ben! My son! My beautiful son! Fix now all those beautiful pumpkin spice notes are really gonna perfume from the inside. Make sure he's stable. And now just walk away and maybe make sure your fire alarms are working, because who knows what's gonna happen. Cooking's a mystery. It's a wonderful gift. Let's check this guy out. Oh my! That is actually way better than I could have expected. A lot of the juices have pulled at the bottom. That's gonna be like equal parts curdled milk, sugar, and turkey fat, which I really like. You can serve all the juices on top of the turkey. You can just drink it tomorrow for an early morning picnic. Oh, that's hot. Well, you know what that said? It's easy to make food taste good. It's easy to make food taste bad. Laughs are cheap, I want gasps. <laughs> Signing out. <laughs> Signing out. <laughs> Sign in, man. Come on, let's uh, see this, sign this bird. Wow. Well, here she is. Um, right here, right here. Man. I'm pretty excited about this, to be Me honest too. with you. So it fell over at some point in mm -hmm. the oven. Yeah, it fell over a couple times Ooh, and I had to go in and try crunchy. and. Yeah, you can actually. Wow. Yeah, that's it's a lot of cinnamon. sugar that really kind of caramelized on the outside. How do we. I can, I can carve it for you. Let's carve it. Please carve do it. that. Wow. Just like that, it's carved. That's beautiful. All right, Josh. so let's let's dish this up, man. Stevie, do you want you want part of this? Might I have the leg? Oh, oh. you want a leg? Yeah, because I need a good thumbnail. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I also do prefer the leg. I'll go for a leg or a wing. Hmm. Uh, I'm, I, I, I'm uh, a breast uh, man. 
I mean, there's a little taste uh, for you. I mean, give me a little bit more. Well, how much? I mean, hey, it's I mean, just I, a I, sampling. I, I, no, you can keep. You can keep eating the whole thing. <laughs> give me Josh, more. Josh, take whatever you want. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab this guy right here. All right, oh, and dang. you got some gravy um, here. Yeah, too. if you guys want to take some gravy, do you, would you like me to? Oh yeah. Sop it on. So, this gravy was made how? So this is with all the pan drippings. Um, I had to filter out some of the curdled oh. milk. Um, would you like to pass that Thank to you. I can just right over the top? Oh, oh, yes, uh, uh, thank uh, you. What? Wow, that's Wait, sorry, beautiful. did you, what, okay. <laughs> thank Man. you. Look right. at that. I, I like to go for the too. most delicate looking. No, I'm gonna be a tough customer here because I'm a ham man. I am also a ham man too, but the amount of sugar that we put into this turkey is oh, yeah? more closely related to a ham than a turkey. Oh, man. It's it changed its DNA at this good. point. feels good. Dink it, okay, great. Mm. And sink it. Mm. You can taste the pumpkin. That's a good little bird, man. You I'm not taste, bad about this at all. You can taste the pumpkin, I mean the spice to the pumpkin spice more than the yeah. pumpkin, I feel I don't like. know how much I'm getting just in the gravy or if I'm actually getting it in the Wait, turkey. So there's, no, there's no pumpkin in pumpkin spice. Is that a... Hmm. Like it's uh, uh, the spices it's, it's which you called... would put into a pumpkin pie. Well, then that's why you're tasting the spice part. So that's why you're tasting the spice part. Wait, do people not know this? I don't know if, no, we, you know if what? anyone thinks I think I've always known that. Spice that goes on a pumpkin. In my soul? I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. But not, wow. I couldn't have said that until you said it. Mm. But there's also that's no pumpkin really in pumpkin. So the canned pumpkins that we get and put into a pumpkin pie, it's not pumpkin, it's closely related to a butternut squash. And so there's no pumpkin and pumpkin spice, and there's also no pumpkin in most of the pumpkin that we eat. What I'm saying is this whole season is a lie. You're blowing my mind, man. Listen, yeah, man. Seriously. Tis the season. Can you give us some good news? This is delicious. Santa's real. Uh, <laughs> this really is delicious. Good news. I'm really excited about it's this. It's really good, man. If the mythical mm. beasts want to uh, try a different turkey recipe this year, here it is, the Starbucks pumpkin spice latte turkey. I have it all up in my grill. Um, we hope that you guys have a happy Thanksgiving. Oh, for those we're of you so celebrating. thankful for you. And we're thankful <laughs> you know to what? you. No, no, I'm grateful for you. And also thankful and grateful for you liking, commenting, and subscribing. And now we say our last and final line. And Until next LTAT, keep, keep on being what it be. Were you looking there? Because you're supposed to look here. I was looking into the ether. Was I supposed to do it too? No. You just keep eating, man. <laughs> right.